If you have not seen yet, Colorado did not play the best against Oregon in real life, and that's putting it lightly. And today, we face them. Number 14, Oregon, 3-1 on the year. In real life, Colorado lost 42-6, and they didn't even score to the end of the fourth quarter. Hopefully, though, that won't be replicated in the video game, and we'll take control of this game and get into the top 25. So, for week 5, we're going straight into the game against number 14th, ranked Oregon, who is 3-1. I'm pretty sure Oregon has a good pass offense, which is very bad for us, because if you've paid any attention to this series so far, you know that our pass defense has been horrendous the last couple of weeks. And also, Shooter Sanders is finally back. He missed last week against Oregon State, where we did get the win anyway, but now he's back. And they're already off to a bad start. We get tackled five yards in the backfield. Rolling out, really no one's open. And we're just gonna get sacked. Negative five yards on back-to-back -back plays. I almost had X, but it just didn't work out. And now it's third and 20 on the first drive. Really, we have to go deep here on a vert to one of the outsides. Maybe Weaver, maybe Hunter. It's too early to tell yet. No one, no one's even open. Triangle was half open, but that was a very, very disappointing first drive. Starting off in a really bad field position. Gonna be a run up the middle, and they get a first down 10 yards. Another run, but this time we're on it. Three runs in a row. And once again, our run defense has been our standout part of our defense so far this season. Third and nine now. I assume they're gonna go to the pass. They are, and they're gonna dump it out for zero yards. Not a great read by Bonix, and now it's fourth and nine, and they're probably gonna set up for a field goal. A little bit far for a field goal, but I don't doubt that he'll make it. Splits the uprights, and we're down three to zero. And we're gonna get negative two yards. I really don't know what to call at this point. X was open and a very, very good catch by Javon Antonio to bring that down. Four verts here. If we don't get it, then I'm definitely going to go for it. X is open right over the middle. A great play. 30 yards down inside their red zone. And Travis Hunter walks in the end zone, 20 yard touchdown reception, and we're gonna be up seven to three. Toss out right, and Kennedy and a bunch of other Colorado defenders are gonna get there for negative two yards. Another toss going the other way, and McLendon is gonna get the tackle this time, third and 10. And then that's gonna wrap up the end of the first quarter, and we are up seven to three. Not a great first drive, but the second drive picked it up a notch, and now we're up four. Our defense has looked really good so far. I don't even think we've given up 10 yards yet. And he's going to get laid out. Here's our chance to put up seven more points and get up 14 to three. Run up the middle and we're gonna stumble forward for nine yards and get the first down. I probably shouldn't have bounced that out so far. That's negative five yards. I thought I had an opening that wasn't there. <laughs> and Weaver's gonna get crushed, but he does get the first down. A throw into traffic and I'm very lucky that was not intercepted. No one out wide, can Shitter Sanders outrun people, and he does for 18 yards. A nice cut up for Anthony Hankerson, and that's gonna set up first and goal. I'm looking to throw it up to Hunter, I think he's gonna beat his man. And Hunter, his second touchdown grab of the day. 14 to three, we're gonna be up in the second quarter, but 
don't get your hopes up because remember last week we were up big and things could have turned out a lot worse. A great play by Bentley, aka me the user, coming around the edge and tackling him for a loss. Another run play, seems like that's all they do. And he's going to truck two people? And he might go all the way. What in the world? That is the weirdest play I've ever seen. That's not even on us. I don't even know what just happened. He trucked three people, should have gotten tackled about five times, and then runs all the way to the end zone. So now we're going to be still up, but only up 14 to 10. X is decently open, and he's going to come down with it. 52 yards. Passarello. Not really anywhere to go on that side. Can Travis Hunter get the hat trick on this play right here? No, he's not open. McCaskill was open, but it didn't turn out right. Sets up third and ten now. Uh oh, and I, I was looking downfield and ran right into the defender. I'm going to let the clock wind down now and just settle for a field goal. It's up and right through the upright, 17 to 10, most likely going into halftime. If I had to guess, they're just going to run the clock out real quick. They are going to pass, but a very short one, and he runs out of bounds for zero yards. Looks like they're doing a... Hail Mary. And we're going to get him for a sack in the backfield. And they're just going to run it up the middle to end the first half. For the 14th ranked team, we're playing great right now. Our defense has been shut out except for that long run play. Up seven. Offense is playing decently. I think we're in a good spot right now, but we do kick the ball off to them in the second half. A draw play. They've run a lot of those today. And we're going to get them down for only two yards. Play action. Travis Hunter gets beat, does not make the tackle, and Cooper is there along with the other DBs, but that's going to be a 41-yard reception. Another run play, zero yards. And they do go to the air, and we're going to intercept that after, after a tip. Oh, and device. almost it's took it really back. I need to see the replay on that. Get the sack. He throws it, bounces off number 44, and then number 9 picks it up. Decent run. This offense has looked completely different since the first drive. A lot of guys out here and we're only gonna get one yard and I probably should have given it now it's fourth and four yeah I'll just punt the ball away even though we're at the 50 yard line it's not worth it giving them good field position maybe we can pin him back really deep but I'm not very good at punts at this game yeah that's just gonna bounce into the end zone another handoff except there's absolutely no one out there Bentley is finally going to make the tackle after 24 yards. Woods is there to make the tackle. Big blitz right here, and we're going to throw the quarterback to the side. Third and 17, what a big play. A bad play by me, I was going for the ball hawk. And I did not play the ball right. And we're going to stuff the run right where it's at. And that's going to wrap up the third quarter. Up 17 to 10. No scores in the second half so far. We just need to hold on to this lead. Although they're in threatening position right now. Breaks a tackle but doesn't break the other one. Third and three. This is a huge play right now. I'm not sure if they're going to go for it if they don't get it, though. It's either going to be a run play or we're going to get the sack. It is a run play, and we're going to be all over that fourth and five now. And they are going for it. I wonder what they're going to run here. I, I, I believe it's going to be a pass, but 
Who knows with them, I could see a draw play happening. And he is gonna get it? What? That was not even close. Can I throw a challenge flag? Challenge it, because I did not think that was a first down. Great hit by Travis Hunter, but I feel like it was short of the line. And the challenge is not successful. We lose a timeout. Maybe a coaching mistake, but I needed that play to go our way, and it did not. Now it's first and goal from the five. Sanders is right there, but he breaks the tackle, and now it's second and goal from the one. It's going to take a big de defensive stand right now to stop them. Heavy blitz, concentrate everything in the middle, guess run middle, and they run right up the middle, and we don't do anything about it. If they make this PAT, it's tied with 347 left. This game could go either way right now. Make sure you stick around till it finishes. I'm going to throw verts a couple times. Hopefully, I don't throw an interception, though. No one's open, I'm just going to throw this one out, be smart with the ball real quick. It wants me to run, which doesn't make much sense, because I don't want to take time off the clock in case we score, they score, and then we need time to go down and score again to win the game. Heavy blitz, X is open, and he drops it. passarello has been very, very good for us so far this season, but that was a crucial error on his part to drop it, because we should have been up by the 40-yard line now, and it's 3rd and 10 from the 25. And now it's fourth and ten. I tried to thread the needle out there. We have no choice but to punt. I would like to go for it, but we're just going to punt the ball away. Big try for us defensively. We've kind of fallen off in the second half like we usually do, but we need all our effort on this play. And it does not work. They're up by the 45-yard line now. And he's going to break tackle, kind of float around a little bit, but he's dropped two yards short. Huge play right here. If they don't get this, I believe they're going to have to punt the ball away. I expect to run middle, but this might be a mistake. It is not. They do go to play action. Ferguson is open, and he's going to get 20 yards down inside of the 30. Now, points are inevitable at this point, so let's just hope it's three. Great hit, negative one yards. Oh, they don't, they go to the draw play. And he does not get the tackle. And of course they're chewing the clock out. After this play, I'm gonna have to call a timeout. And somehow he battles for 13 yards. We might as well let him score at this point because that's gonna be better off for us. I think that's the move right now is just to let him score. Hopefully they run a pass play so that we, they can just walk into the end zone. I wasn't thinking I was gonna, you know, have to give up a touchdown when I started this game, but here we are. It is what it is, and now we're gonna have to drive down the field. We need Shudder Sanders to show up this drive as well as everyone else. A lot of four verts, I'm assuming, this this uh, drive. I just need to find the holes in their defense. Circles open, can he get a foot down? He does, first and 10 at the 30. No one open, throw the ball away. Once again, it's a clock game because I can't give him too much time to go down the field on us. I'll just take off scrambling, go out of bounds. They still have three, all three timeouts left. So, although I get the touchdown right here, this game is gonna go down to the wire. 24 up, 54 seconds left, and they have all three timeouts left. But our defense has been decently strong so far they throw the shallow route it's gonna get him about 15 yards I'm pretty sure we're on that this time I'm not sure why they're calling their why they're not calling their timeouts because they have three of them and there's only 30 seconds left and now they're not snapping the ball what in the world is happening I guess they're just going to overtime? Like, I'm really confused right now. And that's gonna... We're going to overtime. Very weird. Um, maybe even a glitch in the game, but the clock hits zero, and it's 24-all. So we're on offense first, but 
I like it. We're here to set the tone. Of course, no clock in overtime, so we should just take our time. Travis Hunter out wide. R1 over the middle. I'll take it five yards. Oh, almost interception. I saw a square in the corner, and I got excited and tried to fire it in there. I'm very, very lucky that wasn't picked off. Travis Hunter is going to be stopped inches short now. I assume it's going to tell me to go for it. It does not. It does not matter to me. I'm going quarterback sneak. We have an inch to go. The biggest play of the game so far happening right now and we're gonna get in for a touchdown no going for two i'm not gonna be risky i'm just gonna boot the extra point through now we're on defense this is our chance to get an interception and seal the game he has all day to throw and he's gonna find a man easily at the three yard line cooper is not gonna make the tackle but we do have someone out there second and goal from the one Another handoff, and that's an easy touchdown for them. Pass play. He's going to fire it over the middle to Franklin again, except it's a first down. Bentley meets him there, second and seven. Another run play. We blow it up, third and six. And... A touchdown Troy Franklin once again coming up for Oregon 38 31 we need a touchdown now obviously no one's open throw it out of bounds once again no one open I'm just gonna scramble for a couple yards now it's third and eight our first two plays have done nothing. Wow. So close to getting a win over the 14th team. Lost by an interception. Lost by many different plays that could have been prevented. Or made by us and now we're three and two not even worth looking at the stats really we we could have played better we could have played worse but the game's over and we're moving on to the next week at Arizona State University we need to blow them out national championship I'm not gonna say it's out of the picture but it's pretty pretty far away it's gonna take a miracle for us to get there. This one hurts a lot more than TCU. TCU, we weren't playing well. You know, it's understandable. Oregon, it was just at our fingertips and then gone in an instant. Well, going out on a sad note, thank you all for watching if you made it this far, and I will see you in the next one when we play at ASU.